first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so friends in this lesson number four on the topic trigonometry so now we are going to solve a question that is on model number three so friends before watching this video do not forget to watch all my previous videos first so lesson number one introduction about trigonometry and lesson number two i have solved model number one question that is based on trigonometrical ratios we have learned one table chart what is 0 degree 30 45 etc and then previous lesson that is in lesson number three we have learned model number two concept so in the previous lesson we have learned this complete chart and we have solved some of the questions also based upon this chart right i have told you different different ways how to learn all these uh, trigonometrical angles and trigonometrical ratio which quadrant it is positive which quadrant it is negative and uh, if it is 180 360 or 0 you should not make any change if it is a 90 and 270 you should change so all those stuff i have told you and some students will usually say like if it is an horizontal line you don't want to change if it is a vertical line you have to change it is your wish you have wish to learn in a different way but do not make any mistake on this chart that is important right so after learning this chart in the previous video we have solved some example question as well as i have given the homework also in the previous video so here i have taken one question on model number two that is in previous lesson we have solved a question like this sign of 315 degree so what we do is we write this as sign of 360 degree minus of 315 and then we solved a question right so 360 minus 45 and then we solved a question we got we this is the way we solved a question in the previous lesson that is on model number two but when it comes to model number three there will be a small change in the question just see same sign right so but here it is 315 but here it is minus 315 degree so at this point right what students will make a mistake is they take this negative outside and write it as sign of 315 degree no it is wrong you should not do that right so this is a separate thing sign of minus 315 degree so friends understood or not you should not take minus outside so this is the different question and this is the different question so you should solve both the question in a different way both the question are not equal right so uh, if you take a trigonometry topic while solving some simplify question you know usually in your exams you can able to see a question like simplify they will give you a small expression addition division will be there in the trigonometry we have to solve the complete stuff so while solving at some point you may get a value like this sine of minus 315 degree or tan of minus 300 degree so at this point what you need to do is for this some students will learn a separate formula not required just a simple step just see here you know how to solve this question right this question we have learned in model number two itself so now in model number three if it is a negative sign given in the question which is called as model number three so in order to solve this question i will teach you a small technique so just see here this can be written as sine of zero degree minus 315 degree so yes or no right 0 degree minus 315 degree so now 0 minus right 0 minus 0 minus lies in a which angle 0 minus lies in a fourth quadrant so if it is a fourth fourth quadrant except cos and secant all are negative so here it is what sign so negative right so we know that this vertical line 180 360 there should not be any change so sign of 315 degree so friends understood or not now what is the next step so sign of so now we have taken negative outside so now 315 so this 315 can be written as 360 degree minus of 45 degree so now minus of sine 360 minus so 360 minus lies on which angle so 360 minus will be on the fourth quadrant so if it is a fourth quadrant sine will be negative so negative sine theta no change so this will be 45 degree so minus into minus will be plus sine of 45 will be 1 by root 2 so friends understood or not right so this is the way you have to solve the question many teachers will solve the same question in a different different way again i am saying right there are many methods 
to solve a trigonometry question not only this question when you take a simplified question on trigonometry i will solve it in a different way my friend will solve it in a different way and in case if you are learning in any institutions they will solve it they then the teachers will solve in a different way but what is your final target our final target to get the final answer same yes or no that is the final target so learn any one method that method should apply on all the trigonometry question that is important for every question you should not learn new new method that is waste of time so learn one method apply to all the models you will get the answer that's the reason i have taught this method you don't want to learn any formulas or nothing like that if you see a negative sign here inside sin theta tan theta cot theta wherever you see negative sign here write it as 0 minus 315 so 0 minus will lies on a fourth quadrant so if it is a fourth quadrant except cos and secant all are negative so here it is sign so negative so we know that if it is in vertical right if it is an horizontal line 180 360 0 you should not make any change so write sign as it is 315 so now this 315 can be written as 360 minus 45 because here we got a positive right so 360 minus 45 so now sign 360 minus 45 fourth quadrant so again negative no change sign 45 degree minus into minus will be plus sign of 45 will be 1 by root 2 so final answer for this question will be 1 by root 2 so friends understood so this is the difference between model 2 and model 3 so model number 2 we will not have any negative sign in model number 3 we have negative sign that too not in outside that is inside here you will have a negative sign and most of the students ask me like sign of minus 315 can i write like this minus of sign 315 i will directly get this step is this correct no it is wrong at every point you will not get the same at some scenario you will get a uh, caught for example if you if if there is like cause or secant the sign may vary so that's the reason you should not take negative sign outside common while solving a trigonometry question also it's a, a simplified question also there also some students will make a mistake only because of the negative sign so that's the reason i'm saying wherever you see negative sign in the trigonometry write it as 0 degree minus 315 0 minus 315 will be minus 315 right so write like this and then solve the question as we learned in model number two that's it now easy or not i will solve some other question some example questions here two or three question and then i will give you a homework also so here is the second example question so cot of minus 240 degree right so here you can able to see here it is a negative symbol in the question so inside that right inside cot theta we have a negative symbol so it is model number three. First step what you need to do here is write this as cot of 0 degree minus 240 degree because 0 degree minus 240 degree resultant will be minus 240 so now 0 minus right so if it is 0 minus which lies on the fourth quadrant so in the fourth quadrant except cos and secant all are negative so write negative and we know that 180 360 0 so this horizontal line completely there should not be any change in the trigonometry ratio so write cot as it is so here it is 240 degree so now minus of cot 240 so this cot 240 can be written as so cot of 270 degree minus of 30 degree right? so cot of 270 minus 30 will be 240 degree so now minus of so this cot 270 minus 30 so 270 so this will be 270 plus and this will be 270 minus so 270 minus lies on the third quadrant in the third quadrant tan and cot are positive so here it is cot so it is positive 270 it's an odd number you have to change so cot should be changed as tan so here it is 30 degree so minus of plus into minus will be minus of tan 30 degree so tan 30 degree will be 1 by root 3 so minus of 1 by root 3 so answer for this question second example question is minus 1 by root 3 so be slow if you are first time solving a question in the previous video itself i have told this if you are first time learning trigonometry you may take more time to solve the easiest question itself for solving this question itself you might take more than five minutes 
but that is not at all a problem while studying right so take your time even if you are taking 10 minutes or 15 minutes to solve this question that is not at all a problem try to understand each and every step how i am solving right each and every concept is important so once you are strong in the concept and once you know all the trigonometrical values and ratio you can just like that solve all the difficult question in the trigonometry so if you need to solve all those cases you have to be strong on the basics for learning basics it takes some more time right even it takes five or six days to learn but after sixth day you will be strong on solving all the trigonometry question so first just see here they have given a value as minus 240 degree so we have written as 0 minus 240 so 0 minus which lies on the fourth quadrant in the fourth quadrant except cos and secant all are negative so here it is caught so it should be negative here and the 0 360 180 there should not be any change so do not change caught as tan right caught as it is so here it is 240 so now we change the question as minus of cot 240 so now this 240 can be written as 270 minus 30 270 minus 30 lies on a third quadrant in the third quadrant tan and cot are positive so cot positive so cot 270 we have to change the trigonometrical angle so 270 cot should be changed as tan so 30 degree minus into plus will be minus so tan 30 degree will be 1 by root 3 so answer for the second question will be 1 by root 3 so here is the third example question so cos of minus 330 degree so what is the first step you have to do so cos of write this as 0 degree minus of 330 degree right so and then 0 minus so 0 minus lies on the fourth quadrant in the fourth quadrant cos and the secant both are positive so here it is what cos so it is positive right so now cos just here so cos of 330 degree so friends can you able to see the difference between previous question and in this question so previous question it was sign something so because it lies in the fourth quadrant so except cos and secant all are negative so we have written negative outside and sine of 240 etc but here it is cos of minus 330 degree so we have written as 0 degree minus 330 so 0 minus 330 lies on the fourth quadrant in the fourth quadrant cos will be positive so write positive cos 330 degree so the question cos minus 330 degree is changed into plus cos 330 degree so now solve it as usual what we learned in the previous model so cos of 330 can be written as 360 degree minus of 30 degree 360 minus 30 lies on the fourth quadrant so here it is cos so in the fourth quadrant cos will be positive so cos positive 360 horizontal line no change so write cos as it is so here it is 30 degree so cos of 30 degree will be root 3 by 2 so answer for this question will be root 3 by 2 so friends that's it right i will give you one question as a homer question so here in this model number three we have learned one very small concept that is if there is a negative sign on the question what you need to do and many students will ask me why you are writing this step instead of writing this step there is a thing like cos of minus theta is equals to cos theta right sine of minus theta is equals to minus sine theta there is theta so there is a formula like this but you don't want to spend time on learning all these formulas it is not needed why because uh, if you write it in this way solve here you may feel difficult or may you may feel like you are writing one step instead of learning the formula but while solving a simplification question on trigonometry at that time you will feel easy if you write like this and solve a question so that's the reason i thought this right so i can give you one question as a homer question right so just a moment so sin of minus 240 degree so friends try to solve this question as a homework and check whether you are getting the answer or not so answer will be root 3 by 2 yes not a positive one right so not negative one it's a positive one answer will be minus uh, 240 degree sign of minus 240 degree so answer will be root 3 by 2 check whether you are getting the answer or not if you are if you are getting the answer so it's okay if you are not getting an answer kindly say me in the comment section i will check whether i have done it correctly or wrong right so answer for this question will be root 3 by 2 so once that's it 
so thank you so much for watching this video so uh, there are still many models to come on the trigonometry i will be teaching all the models so always start learning from lesson number one and write the test that is most important after posting the next model i will give you a separate test on the test series trigonometry already i have posted model number one as a test so model two three four so combined with all the three models i will give you some question as a test so friends thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share this video to your friends those are preparing for the competitive exams so thank you so much bye